You know, there are a lot of animal causes these days, save the whales, save the seals. But our Pam Moore discovered a new mission of mercy for critters and won a woman battle to save the turtles. Watch this. Now this could be just any house, or could it? Take a closer look at those little houses, little houses much too small for a dog. They're all my babies and my grandchildren, and hopefully uh, mine will propagate enough so I can have other people enjoy them as much as I do. Well, the secret's out. These are colonial houses, or if you like, homes for turtles and tortoises. 25 of them, all children or grandchildren of Felice Rude, the turtle lady. I've felt that way all of my life. It's a motherly instinct. And like any mother, Felice knows her kids, big or small, good or not so good. This turtle has uh, been uh, running into all the little dog houses ever since we've gotten here. What, what's, what's he up to? Uh, he's a Don Juan. He loves all the women and hates all the men. <laughs> what more can I say? He's looking for a girlfriend and nobody wants him. <laughs> How many do you have in there? Uh, four. And one is, but uh, excuse me, one is sick, and he's upstairs in my bedroom. Do you know the difference between a male and female? Uh, this is a family show, Felice. Oh, well, okay, I'll show you. The female is flat. Oh, it's perfectly okay. smooth. Perfectly flat from back. Flat-chested female. A little tail. Okay. <laughs> and the male. I'm afraid to look. Now see the difference? Oh, it's, it's sloping. It's concave. This whole thing started for Felice when she got one tortoise, which eventually had babies. And you know how that goes. Cute kids and everything, they're hard to give up. But it wasn't until she got a desert tortoise that she finally became their advocate. The desert tortoise is now an endangered species and has given Felice a cause. Save the turtles. Mom, you got a call. Uh, tell them to call back. Okay. Is it a turtle call? Yeah. Okay. And I'm as patron saint, she runs okay. an adoption center for turtles and mans a hotline for turtle questions and even turns her home into a turtle-rama when her new club meets to talk tortoise. Of course, uh, I've been taking turtles and tortoises in for adoption, and uh, the way they come into me, they've been so abused and mistreated that I just decided to help as many people as I could. Well, there are never easy about. answers as to why people love that someone or something. No matter what they look like or who or what they are, they just do. And patron saints are no different. I don't know. I love them. Why does anyone love anything? Some people like dogs, cats. I like turtles. But and as long as she does, there'll be a home for the children. For Weeknight, I'm Pam Moore. And turtles, I know a neighbor had a big turtle, and every time she went right out the back door, the turtle would come running over to see her. Here, just like kidding. a dog. Just like no. a dog. Well, they yeah. don't bark, at least. Yeah. Yeah. 